Hello, this is Miss Sasek, and here today's video is about what are the major colonies in North America and why were they founded. So make sure you have your notes and something to write with. We are going to get started right away. Okay, our first colony is called Maryland. Now today we call it Maryland, we kind of drop the Y, but back then uh, it is called Maryland. And it was founded by Lord Baltimore, whose name is George Calvert, who you see in the picture on the right-hand screen. Uh, he founded it uh, as a religious haven, a religious freedom colony for the Roman Catholics. Now, if you remember our story in class with Miss Sasek and Miss Overlander, that we talked about how um, at the end of our story, uh, it was a pro England was a Protestant nation. And being Catholic wasn't really the cool thing anymore, and so a lot of Catholics were persecuted or bullied. So he wanted to create a place where Catholics could feel comfortable practicing their religion freely uh, and not be persecuted for their beliefs. Uh, he also wanted to uh, have trade and profit a successful colony. But he also was, uh, Maryland was also the first, one of the first colonies to create a religious toleration law. And this was in 1649, so it really didn't matter what religion you were, Catholic, Protestant, whatever. They didn't really care as long as you were willing to come and work hard in um, this colony because that's what it was about, creating a new life, getting a new start in a new world. So this was established in 1634, and it was a proprietary colony. So a proprietary colony, if you remember, is a colony that is owned by a company or person, and they choose who the um, governor, who's going to control that colony. Here you see a map. You see Jamestown to the south. And if you look to the north of Jamestown, you see St. Mary's. There's a little dot on the peninsula. That is where the first settlement was in Maryland in 1634, right off the Potomac River near the Chesapeake Bay. Our next colony uh, was originally called New Amsterdam. You would know it as New York. It was originally uh, owned by the Dutch, the country of the Netherlands. And uh, their leader originally was Peter Stuyvesant. And um, he was not really well liked in the colony, very uh, cruel. And there are other reasons why the Dutch had um, wanted to get a colony. This is one of the major reasons. And they invited the English Duke of York to take over. So now it's called New York. Now this colony was created for trade and profit. So they wanted to make money. The Dutch had established this colony in 1624. And the English had taken over in 1664. And they had established it as a royal colony. So here you see a map of New York City in the very beginning. Uh, this is the end of Manhattan. Uh, and you see that there is a wall around the city. Back then they used walls to protect the um, inhabitants inside the city from outside invaders. Uh, you see a fort at the end that's near, it looks like it's near the financial district today, like World Trade Center that you would think of today, um, Battery Park, financial center of uh, New York. That's where that fort is on the left side. And that fort was a very uh, important protective uh, military strategic place because if you further left of that, this picture, this map would be beginning of the Atlantic Ocean, so this fort would be a great place to defend the city in case any foreign invaders would come um, to the city. Our next colony is called Georgia, and it is founded by James Oglethorpe. Now, he founded this for people who were in debtor's prison. Now, he was a very compassionate man. He was a member of parliament back in England, and he thought it was really sad that there were these people uh, in England who were in debtor's prison. So if you're in debt, that means you owe money to somebody or a bank. And if you couldn't pay those bills, you couldn't pay your debts, you were often thrown in jail. 
And it was really sad seeing all these people just wasting away in jail, not being able to work or be productive. And uh, he went to the king. And the king at this point was uh, one of the Georges. I have to remember which one. I think it was George II or George I. And he asked the king to establish this colony in 1733 and um, create a new place for people um, where they could come, instead of sitting in jail, come start a new life, work, take those raw materials from this colony, send it back to England, and in England they would take those resources and those raw materials from the colonies and make it into things. And those things would be sold in the markets, and that's how they would make money. So the king thought, saw this was good, people were out being productive, he would be able to make money. And on top of that, Georgia was named after King George. So again, I put this cartoon in here, you see, you know, somebody in prison, you know, really sad and down. And here you see this man in the middle offering a way out for him. And that way out was going to Georgia. Our next colony is called Pennsylvania. And it was founded by William Penn. Now, William Penn had owed the king a lot of money. And instead of paying him back, the king gave William Penn a lot of land in the new colonies. And he called it Pennsylvania, or Penn's Woods. And he created it as a uh, colony that, was, that allowed Quakers to have religious freedom. So these Quakers were not quite like the Puritans or the Pilgrims. In some ways, they were just honest, simple people. But what made them special um, was that they were pacifists. So they did not believe in fighting. Um, but like Maryland, they did not want to just make this an exclusive colony for Quakers. They wanted to include other people. So they had a religious toleration law as well because they also wanted to make people, they wanted to make money and they wanted to make people happy and uh, give them opportunities to make money and start a new life. So that's why it was a proprietary colony. And it was a great uh, place for people to get a fresh start. And this was discovered or founded in 1681, 1682. Here you see older map of Pennsylvania.